Welcome back to Mars Horizon, folks. We need to set up some research and I think we'll go with multi crew orbit. 1750 research that takes. So that'll be done this month because we are doing good research at the moment. Actually, let's first do this, the research lab expansion, because that's an extra 50 science per month. That's It's a mistake that I haven't done that yet. Okay, let's build it. We can afford it, so that's good. Uh, we can get two bonuses here. Uh, minus 2% payload build cost and plus 2% rewards for missions. What about over here? Alright, so we're building it here. It costs 150,000 by itself, so it costs 125,000 to clear this obstruction. We'll do that. Okay. I like bonuses. Uh, okay. Now we could research this as well. Because that's a minus 20% payload build cost. Let's do it. Okay. Your engineers have identified a potential component upgrade on the launch vehicle. Cumbersome for the upcoming human and space mission. Appro approving the work would require 200,000. But would grant a 20% uh, launch reliability improvement. Cumbersome's current launch reliability is 57%. We're going to approve that. So we get more launch reliability because I do not want to blow up my astronaut. All right. Budget review. So we're making more money now. Uh, we got a lot of support uh, in the last year. And we now earn 153000 per month. Okay, and the backup generator is complete, but we can't afford to build it, I don't think. 150,000, so new. Not just yet. Alright, let's research something else. Uh, let's do that multi-crew orbit research. It'll take a while, because we're not making all that science anymore. But um, that's okay. Documentary tour. A documentary crew has requested a tour of your astronaut training facilities. However, security advisors have pointed out that other agency might, might, other agencies might be able to learn about your program if such a documentary were to be released. I think I'm going to accept it because I'm guessing that that will give us some support. Yeah, 200 support, and a competing agency has gained science. Fine. Okay, human in space vehicle complete. Cool. Maximum mission training bonus is increased by 100%. Okay. Okay. We need to hire an astronaut. And I want a scientist. So we have uh, our astronauts. They have different abilities. So these are tier one astronauts. So for the problem solver here, we get a minus one random resource requirement per task. The electrician uh, starts with uh, each task with an extra power. Uh, longevity means that they are further to go until they retire. Uh, so she retires in 2011, and the electrician here retires in 1984. Uh, so yeah, she retires at age 73. That's an old astronaut. Um, he retires in 1996, or she, sorry, Collins. Uh, now, her salary is 7000 a month, and she costs uh, 70000 to hire. We want a scientist. That's for damn sure. I don't know why these are exclamation marked. Uh, I guess because I haven't clicked them. Yes, that was why. So, the scientists give a plus 10% size re reward upon mission success. That's what I want. Uh, so, this one costs 120,000, 12,000 salary, retires in 1979. She retires in 1985 and costs 90,000, 9,000. And this guy costs 
class 120,000, 12,000 retires in February 1989. So we're going to grab this scientist. She's the cheapest, uh, Dinky Bernard. <laughs> I love the name. Uh, and we're going to hire her. She retires in 85. She's cheap. Um, yeah. Uh, hire Dinky Bernard. Now, if you want your name in the game we can rename astronauts so if you want to rename an astronaut to to your name then let me know in the comments below and and i'll rename astronauts in one of the following episodes depending on when i am recording again and how many i have recorded in advance but i will uh, rename scientists to your desired name if you want to be in the game. We're going to assign our scientist here, Dinky Bernard, to this mission. Confirm. We're going to go do training and we're definitely going to go science training. And we are already making 1584 science from the from this, which is really nice. And then we need a launch date. Uh, we could go in August, uh, I think. Let's go in June. Let's go in June. Get 20% science bonus. Yeah, and that gives us a couple of months to delay launch if the weather is miser miserable. So let's do that. Okay. Uh, all right, let's see. We still can't afford that, so next month. Research lab expansion is complete, plus 50 science per month, so now it's 160 instead of 110. And we can now afford to build this backup power generator. Ooh, 850,000 to remove those uh, obstructions. But it would give us two bonuses. What about over here? No bonuses, no bonuses, no bonuses. Hmm. 200,000. Right, I think we'll build it here, but that means that we can't do it this month. Okay. Why do we still have exclamation marks here? Okay. Done. Now we do need to start our lunar orbit. How much does this payload cost? 140,000. So we could do that, reduce the reliability a bit, but it's already 75%. Now it's 60. I think 60% is reasonable. And it'll make it a lot cheaper. Build that. Right, next month. And now we can build this. Now I should have waited because this would reduce the cost. Alright, build that. Lunar orbit payload is ready we will not be able to build the uh, the uh, launcher but we can design it oh we are actually able to build the launcher we have the money just uh, it only costs 122,000 that is nice let's do it confirm build a vehicle six months that'll take Okay, human in space. We are first. China and uh, Soviet Union have done the research, but they haven't planned the mission yet. 1,892 science. That is sweet. All right. Oh, it's raining. It's raining. We might have to delay. I think we'll delay. We'll see. Cumbersome. It's not a very good name, is it? It doesn't exactly... Read trust. Okay. Uh, bad conditions, minus 8%. 8% 
risk of critical failure. You know what? I'm going to reschedule. I'm going to reschedule uh, to July. And that just gives us a bit more uh, science bonus, which is fine. I can live with that. Next month, backup power generator is complete. Minus 20% payload build costs. Very nice. Okay. Now it's 1964 science. Not bad. <sighs> it's raining again. Man, this looks worse than before. I don't think it will be July 1961 that we put a human into space. In terrible conditions, minus 17%. Reschedule. Reschedule. Last chance in August, we get a bit more science for it. Oh, it's all good. And... No one else is even planning the mission, so it's all good. We have active missions here. We have lunar orbit. It's done in four months. All right. Uh, power cut averted. Thanks to your backup power generator, a major power outage did not disrupt any base activities or mission operations. A local phone in show, local phone in show praised your your agency's foresight. City planners need to learn from those space folk. One irate caller insisted, describing how the blackout led to an unfortunate haircut. <laughs> okay. Uh, gain 200 support. Send United Space, Spur, space Nerds hat for a thousand. I think we'll do that. 200 support. A significant milestone in human history. A crude orbit of the Earth will grant critically technological and scientific expertise as well as inspiring the world at large. Multi-crew orbit research complete. Nice. Reached era two, human space exploration. Early satellites encircle Earth. The world below is increasingly ca captivated by the idea of s space exploration. Can humans truly survive the rigors of outer space? And could we even set foot on another planet? Unlocked the inner planets. Nice. I like it. I like it a lot. All right, let's hope we get some better weather this time. Uh, we're up to more than 2,000 science now. Please be better, Weller. Yes, that looks much better. Much better. That is what I'm talking about. All right, August 1961. The first human is going into space. Let's see. It's adequate conditions, plus 3%. There's a 5% chance of going boom let's hope that doesn't happen we know that it can one ignition go and lift off and the first human has cleared the tower dinky bernard will be the first human in space and we're going up 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 we're not blowing up Yes, very nice, very nice indeed. And it was a clean launch, secure launch, no negative effects. Very good. And our Atlas and Ariane get a bit of experience, so they are a bit more reliable next time. Very good. Human in Space, August 1961. Now, Okay, so we need to collect four and six, but we now have crew as a resource, which is really nice. So we have one crew member on board, so each turn our one crew me member can do one of these three actions. And so what's the first one that we're going to do? I think we'll do the mission report. Just let everyone know that things are going well. Then we'll do, we don't actually need uh, data, we need comms and um, nav. So I think we'll do this, so we need 8 and 12, that's quite a lot. That is quite a lot. And... 
Hmm. Then I think we'll do this. Alright, let's confirm that. Alright, so Misrun report is successful. All good. And then we have the ground control connection is good as well. Very good. Very good. And then we have flyover course adjustment. Oh, that went, was a little bit off. That was a little bit off. Uh, I think I am going to resist this. Uh, yeah, let's resist it. Okay. Now, we can do this one again. We can recharge our power because we're going to need that, I think. And then I think we'll do one of these, uh, a data transmission. So mission report, data transmission, and recharge power. And that puts us in a pretty good place, I think. All right, confirm that. Let's not have any failures here. Ooh, perfect. A critical success. Very nice. So we generate an extra uh, comms. I love it. Accept that. And then we have... Ooh, nice. Again, no need to resist anything. And we get another four comms for that. Very good. Very good indeed. Okay. Now... I think this time we will do a manual tra trajectory update and then we'll do a uh, data transmission and an orbital realignment that puts us over on comms and one off on the nav so next time we can just do the manual trajectory update and that'll uh, win it for us so let's confirm those commands and let's hope we don't have to resist twice because that would suck we can but it would suck uh, all right, no need to resist there. We're up to 10 navs, and that is successful as well. The data transmission, very good. That's another four comms. Outstanding. And then we have our orbital realignment, which is also successful. Wonderful. All right, so now we can simply do a manual uh, trajectory update. And that will win it for us and recharge our power twice. And we'll get our 50% bonus reward. Let's confirm that. Okay. That is successful. We updated our trajectory. That's hard to say. And we got our four uh, nav. So we are successful here. 50% extra reward. That is nice. Okay, and here we come down, and we are gonna splash down nice and gently, sorta. And Dinky Bernard is back from space. Good job, Dinky. All right, phase one, human orbit. We were first to do it. That's an extra 150 support, very nice. We have completed three milestone missions, which gives us uh, a 25% uh, reduced cost in uh, research, building research. So that's 1,050 support that we gain and 762 research for four months. Outstanding. And uh, Dinky Bernard now needs to recuperate for six months before she's available for another mission that's all good okay 
We are going to take advantage of this building research. And we are going to build Hmm. We're going to get the additional research lab expansion. Actually, you know what? Let's get this first. Because the rocket test pad. Because then we get this completion reward, which is a 50% uh, reduction in uh, removing obstructions. Which is quite useful, because that is expensive. Okay. Next month. Race to Space 1. Oh yeah. The news is dominated by your agency launching the first human into space. They kept their promise, read one prominent headline, alluding to the previous claim that you would be the first to achieve the milestone. Gained 400 support. Outstanding. And the rocket test pad research is complete. And advanced demolition research is complete. Nice. All right. So we are well over the 3,000 that we need to uh, meet our next funding review requirement to, to go up in, in funds, so that's good. Uh, let's now build uh, or research that uh, so that we get some extra science. How much will it cost to build this rocket test pad? Oh, 75,000. Okay. And we do get a bonus here, minus 2% building, uh, vehicle building cost. Here we get 2, minus that's minus 6% vehicle building cost. That's a lot of money to save. We're doing it, even though it costs money to remove those uh, obstructions, but um, we'd have to do it at some point anyway. Okay, so Leo Launcher is complete in two months. We don't have money to do any kind of uh, missions right now. Uh, so, all right. We can build an extra uh, research lab. Um, what's next? I think we'll go with the vehicle assembly building. That leads to the large launch pad. Which is something that we're going to need for landing on the moon. Alright, we can't afford to build... Uh, the uh, research lab expansion new. It will give us extra science, 50 extra science every month, which is useful. All right, lunar orbit vehicle complete. Outstanding. Good looking rocket. Plus 10% launch reliability, mission training re bonus reduced by 50% per month. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, let's do science. We'll select a launch date. It'll be February because don't want to launch in suboptimal conditions. February it is. Confirm. Three months, we're going to the moon. All right, we can now build, uh, no, not move, build uh, a research lab expansion. Uh, here we got minus 2% payload reliability, uh, payload build cost. Here we got plus 2% reward for missions. Mm, Alright, we'll take the 2% reward for missions for sure. Good. Next month, rocket test pad is complete. Unlocks mission training launch reliability. Okay. Vehicle assembly building research complete. Very good. We have two months left here. We're not going to be able to complete this in two months. Are we going to be able to complete anything in two months? 1125. I don't think so. Hmm. Is it if we just start it, then... Then it's all good, or what? Well, 
let's do that next month. Budget review, January 1962. 1,850 support we gained during the last year. That is pretty darn good. And we're now up to 204,000 per month that we're making. Outstanding. So we're making 149,000 per month. So that's not too shabby. We could build the vehicle assembly building. Minus 10% vehicle build time. Oh, we, we could also not because we don't have the funds for it. And so let's just move on to the next month. Hat received. A local radio show has reported how your agency sent a United Space Nerds branded hat to one of their listeners who suffered during a recent blackout. They really made my day, the listener com commented. Thank you, Bernard. Even signed it. Cool. 100 support. Research lab expansion complete. An extra 50 science a month. We needed that. And we are ready to go for lunar orbit. Cool. I love this game. Let's go ahead and launch. We'll be the last to do it, but that's okay. We'll be the first to land there. That's the plan, anyway. Uh, okay. Launch day, Leo launcher. February 1962. That is the day that we go to the moon. All right, good conditions, plus 9% uh, launch reliability, very nice. Only 4% chance of uh, burning, up, burning up horribly. So let's see, two, one, and we have ignition, and we have liftoff. Beautiful. Cleared the tower. I really like the look of this rocket. I think it's cool. And we're going, we're going, we're going, everything looks good. Yeah, baby, yeah, get up there. Wonderful. And it should be, ooh, nice. Plus one power for the duration of the mission. Very nice. And the Jupiters get even more reliable. Very good. All right, lunar orbit. So what's the first task here? Perform translunar injection. Collect two data and three navigation, which means four and five. Okay, we can do that. So what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Hmm. If we do the controlled burn here, then we can do a data transmission. Mm. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, and we have one more. Uh, actually, let's go back. If we do this twice, that's a lot of power. But then we can do the ground control connection. And that seems good. Confirm. All right. All good on the controlled burn. Very nice. We have another controlled burn. That is all good as well. Excellent. And then we have our ground control connection, which is also all good. Fantastic. No static on the line there. All right. Now, now we basically just have to do this. Oh, no, we need four. Dang it. Uh, but then we can just do this and recharge. So we have two actions. We have two charges that we can resist with, and we are sure to get up to our bonus award, which is 25%. Okay. Let's do it. No need to resist there. Okay, and the controlled burn is good as well. Fantastic. Accept that, and that is our bonus award. Fantastic. 
I love it. Okay, achieve lunar orbit is the next task. So we have two tasks on this one. Look at this. I love it. It's so cool. It's, it really is quite a beautiful game, I think. All right, so we need comms and data. Achieve lunar orbit is the task. And we need six and seven to get a 50% bonus reward. We have seven power again. All right, so comms and data. So how about we do a visual data collection? And we then do an orbital realignment. And then we do atmospheric sampling. I think that seems good. Confirm. Oh! The visual data collection did not go well. We are going to have to assist that. All right. But the clear ground tracking was very good. And we got uh, an extra uh, nav. Very nice indeed. Okay, and the last one. Ooh. We're going to have to resist again. Let's do it. We have plenty of power, so that's all good. It's all good. And with this extra uh, nav in our possession, we can go ahead and do a mission update. A mission data update. Then we can do another orbital realignment and another atmospheric sampling. That takes us to seven. Um, seven data. So let's confirm. All right, all good here. It was close to being a critical success. And orbital realignment is all good as well, just barely. Very nice. And oh, then we have to resist here. Dang it. Uh, the camera shot failed. All right, we'll resist. Okay, but we are up to seven here now, so now we just basically need comms. We have two turns left to get four comms. It should be doable. It should be doable. So how about... We use... We do some visual data collection. Mm, or actually, let's do another orbital realignment, some atmospheric sampling, and then we can do... Well, that doesn't help me. Oh, yes, yes, it does. Then we can do a telemetry transfer. Alright, confirm that. Oh, damn it. Uh, we'll have to resist that. Uh, all good on the atmospheric sampling, except that. And for the telemetry transfer, all is good as well. Almost a critical success, but not quite. Accept that. Okay. Now, we just need two more comms. So we can just do a telemetry transfer. That gives us everything we need, and then we can just recharge our power. Because we don't need to do anything else. We get our 50% bonus reward. Confirm that. And there we go. 50% bonus reward achieved. Woo! A lot of jubilation in the control room. Alright, Lunar Orbit, we achieved it. We came fifth, but that's okay. 375 support gained and 516 research for uh, three months. Okay. I can take it. Okay, now we have a bit of money, so let's see, are there any requests for something that is lucrative? We want money. Uh, we could do a joint mission with... Uh, with... Uh, yeah. I don't think I want to do that. I don't think I want to do that. 
I think I want to do the control system to check. It's a manned mission with uh, minus 25% launch reliability, which is not great. We can also do the dog in space. I think I'd rather do that. Doesn't give uh, as much, uh, anywhere near as much support, but the science is decent. Let's plan for a dog in space. Uh, we'll go with the standard payload and we'll go ahead and build it. Okay. Now we do have another mission. Let's see, is there anything over here? Whoa. Uh, no, no request missions. So, okay. So yeah, see, it went up to 5,000. So the large launch pad, it was down to 3,750, but now it's 5,000. That sucks. Um, so, we can do another mission here, and I think we're just going to do the test launch guidance. Uh, build the sounding rocket, 58,000 it costs. It gives us a little bit of science and a little bit of um, support, so it's fine. Race to the moon. The world's media is abuzz with the possibility of landing a human on the moon, and the question of who will manage it first. Many have backed your agency following your success in launching the first human into space, yet more skeptical voices have warned that landing humans on the moon is an entirely different challenge. Your agency has been approached for comment. We're gonna win the race. Absolutely. 300 support. Very nice. We're almost up to the 5,000. Oh, I've never been in here. Uh, 204,000 from to six funding. Then we have astronauts and buildings costing us 55,000. Okay. Funding. Okay. Cool. And the next one will be 255,000. So that's 50,000, 51,000 extra month, a month. That's nice. And the science per month is not great. Uh, it's okay right now, but. Normally it ain't. All right. Um, next month. Camera training. A camera manufacturer has offered to work with your technicians to adapt its cameras for space photography and to train your astronauts how to use it. Uh, they claim that photographs from crewed missions could prove hugely, pop hugely popular with the public. I'm going to accept that offer. Camera training accepted. Your technicians and astronauts will work closely with the camera manufacturer with the aim of capturing striking images from future crewed missions. Okay, our payload is complete for our dog in space. Minus 25% vehicle build cost. We like that. We don't like the extra build time, but we can live with it. The build cost is actually really good for us. Uh, let's prepare. Uh, we'll do science for the training, and we'll set a launch date of the 15th. Or July, sorry, the 15th. I was looking at the 15% uh, bonus. All right. Uh, confirm and go to solar system. We do have a dog in space. We need... Oh, that was the... Um... That was the, the test launch. Okay, fine. Uh, we will reuse our Leo launcher. It'll only cost us 114,000 to build. That is fantastic. The launch reliability is not great though, but um, it is what it is. And it'll take eight months to build it, man. Eight months. Okay, next month. Rival agency offers help. Following the successful satellite imaging mission, rival agency China have publicly offered to share their payload technology with your agency to give our friends the help they need in the space race. <laughs> Screw you, China. Uh, your advisors believe your agency will gain science if you choose to accept the offer, yet also warn that you may lose face with the public in doing so. No, I'm, I'm not gonna go away, China. Gain 300 support. Nice. So we are over the 5,000 now, which is good. Now, how much would it cost to build the VAB? 
562,000, so we can't afford it just yet. Next month. Now we can afford it if we don't have to remove any obstacles, which we of course do. Jesus, that thing is big. Uh, does it get bonuses from anything? Yeah, down here. Uh, minus 3% vehicle build time. 1.1 million. 1 1.3, 1 1.4, 1 1.9. I think this is the cheapest. Yeah. Alright. It's also up here. Oh, we don't get any bonuses for that. So we're, we're building it down here in a while. Okay, next month. Test launch, guidance systems test. Okay, ready for launch. Very good. Let's go ahead and launch our guidance system test. Ooh. Weather doesn't look too good. The weather doesn't look too good at all. Salamander. Okay. A tiny little sounding rocket. Uh, Alright. Bad conditions. 7% seven, seven we're, we're, we're go for launch. We're go for launch, guys. Don't go boom. Alright. Ignition. And lift off. Go, Get up there. Get up there. Yeah, good job. Good job. Alright. Ah, oh, damn it. Minus 25% mission reward. I hate that. But now, our sounding rocket has 100% reliability. That's quite nice. 100 uh, support and 243 science for a month. Okay, we have a bit of money. I think I'm going to change my research. Now, if you do that, you keep the research that you've already done. Uh, and I think I'm going to change it over to do satellite imaging. And that's not going to take long to do. Uh, we'll get those done. That also gives us uh, this plus 5% payload reliability, which is not the biggest bonus, but... Every little bit of bit helps. Uh, okay, now we did unlock the outer planets, and we have haven't looked at them yet. So let's go take a look. We have Mars over here. Uh, we have Mars flyby and Mars orbit as our first two missions at Mars. No one has done any of the research there yet. There are a lot of Mars missions. Then over here we have Venus. We have the Venus Impactor and the Venus Orbit. Japan has done the research, but I have not started the mission yet. And then we have Mercury here. No one has done anything here either. And we have Mercury Orbit as our mission here. So there are some interesting missions that we can do. Uh, but we will have to do them in future episodes because we are out of time. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.